was really special to me because not only were like all my clients but a lot of women that I don't even know like that or do know but don't have close relationships with reached out to me just letting me know they're praying for me and I just felt so much love like so my ladies thank you because this is why I have a YouTube this is why I have a vlog that's everything so thank you from the bottom of my heart So before we start this week's vlog, I wanted to share with you a, a company that recently reached out to me called Kinder Beauty. So what they are is a monthly beauty subscription service. They send you a box filled with beauty products. The difference that sets them apart is that it's all vegan and cruelty free and clean beauty products. What I really love when the company approached me and I researched them is that it is founded by two women so we love that right which were like self-care enthusiasts animal activists you know and they came together and they had such a passion and love for all things beauty you know skin care hair care makeup accessories etc right when they wanted to give you the best products without all the toxins and without hurting the animals so love 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 that I am going to share, I received their October box, but you will receive a box based on when you order it in the month, when you subscribe. So there's a new box every single month and it comes with new products. You can get up to $165 in value in each box. If you were to sign up for six months, a box one month is $23. Plus your first month is 50% off if you use my code, which is 50 Jeezy. You can't beat that. I mean, that's like a really good deal. So I'm like, you know me, I'm a skincare makeup enthusiast. So I'm always about give me the best products and give me good clean products. I think it's becoming like more and more important to me to become aware of like what I'm ingesting, what am I putting in my body, what's what I'm putting on topically, how that di my body is digesting that, right? I think beauty comes from within, right? It comes from the inside. So it's what are you ingesting? Like what are you, not only what are you eating, what are you drinking, what are you reading, listening to? What kind of skincare products are you putting on your skin? You know, are they toxic for you? Are they clean? You know, it's really important. And the more that we do research and we learn how valuable that is. So when this company reached out, and not only is it clean, vegan, we love vegan, love that it's clean products, cruelty free but it's so affordable because child when i tell you the products that i be spending money on will break your bank okay so i'm really excited to see what came in october's box and like i said when you sign up you can get a new box so right now they have november going out december's gonna be rolling out soon so let's see what they said so first thing in this box i'm pulling out is a charcoal mask from the company floor and b it's retailed at 25 dollars. so right there already you're getting a product for the that's worth more than the whole cost of the box i love on the box that it says do you naturally yes girl do you naturally all masks that i use for me and my skin is always a charcoal mask i just love um it brings it purifies the skin and it leaves my skin feeling like really clean and cool you know i don't know how to describe it the fact that they sent one is right up my alley and mm, and it has it's like giving eucalyptus which is good because i can't stand you don't want to put something on your face and it's like the smell is off so loving that this whole box is worth it just in this mask alone so i'll definitely be using this second we have mud masky and this is an eye mask serum it's retailed at $49 this they're saying is good for your dark circles puffy eyes fine wrinkles dry skin and swelling I did see on the back that they do note that it smells a bit funky so I don't know how it smells so let's see put a little on my hand because I like to feel how product feels on the skin so this is the product it's very cooling oh I really love the way that feels that would feel so good underneath the eye how cooling it is oh I'm gonna love this I know I'm gonna love this the smell isn't even that bad. I'm definitely using this. My only complaint with this packaging though is that this, um, the hole is so big. 
that when I was trying to pull like the product out, a lot wanted to come out and you know, you need very little product for your eyes. So if you don't want to waste product, you know, so just be mindful of that. But yes, it's so cooling on the skin. Next, we've got a hair conditioner, which, you know, I'm like back to my natural hair. So, you know, we got to natural hair, natural beauty. So this is from Ethique. It's called a kookaburra. I've never used a bar conditioner before, so this will be new for me. Mm, but it smells so good. It's like lavender, eucalyptus, purple avi. Love that. So I'm definitely gonna try this out. I'm probably gonna use it most likely when I, if I do my showers at night instead of the morning, or sometimes I do both, but because of the smell, I feel like it'll just like relax me, help put me to sleep. This is valued at $17. Next is, okay, this is very small. So this looks like a little mini trial size. And this is called Three Ships Dew Drops Mini and it's valued at $11.67. So gosh, this little size is only $11.67. So it's a vitamin C serum and hyaluronic acid. Love that. I use a vitamin C serum every morning. I like to use it in the morning. I like to use a vitamin C serum because I have melasma. I was out a lot in the sun as a little girl and I you know, obviously wasn't caring about my skin, didn't use sunblock, and I have dark spots on my face. So I use vitamin C serum to help brighten those and brighten my skin. So definitely as a staple in my morning skincare routine, let's just see how it feels on the skin. It's very thin, clear, thin, just a nice, it'll just do a nice little glaze. So I'm totally gonna try this. Lastly, they sent a shave starter kit from the company Jill. This is valued at $19.99. This is a dermaplaning tool. I don't know if you dermaplane, but you should. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, oh, I love that. Okay, so this is an extra razor and it's a bigger one. So it's like, this is meant for like more the whole face, whereas this is more for smaller areas. Love that. I like dermaplaning because I want my makeup to go on as flawlessly as possible. So we get little like peach fuzz and we want to just dermaplane and you get all that dead skin and it foliates and it takes all that dead skin off and it makes when you apply your makeup, so smooth love that oh my gosh i'm totally trying this out so seriously guys you get all of that for 23 dollars, and then on the first box if you use my code 50 gz you get 50 percent off i mean you can't beat that like that's such a sweet deal so basically you're supporting two women which we love that's so on brand for life with gz you're supporting two women entrepreneurs they um give back a portion of the proceeds of all their boxes to animal rights charities or environmental causes love that and then so it's like you're giving back to the animals you're giving back to the earth the environment it's clean beauty i mean what more can you want it's kind as in the name kinder <laughs> kinder beauty i'm gonna like tell my mom about it for sure because my mom loves this type of stuff i don't know like do y'all like moms or friends or aunts like my aunts love this stuff too like they love a good beauty box and when i tell them that they can get the deal that they can get they're gonna be signing up for sure i will put all of the information and in the description of the video i don't push anything that i don't believe in <laughs> i don't need to there's no reason so yeah i'm pleasantly surprised i'm so excited that the company reached out because it's right like i said it's right on brand with things that I stand for and things I believe in. So, Jeezy approved. Now, welcome to this week's vlog. It is Wednesday, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. I don't know what day that is, um, November 23rd. So I took today off. It feels really beautiful outside. So I'm just come out to the backyard and I'm gonna read and journal and plan my day. Try to be as productive as I can today, but give myself like grace if I don't feel like doing too much because I've just been struggling so much lately, not wanting to do much, um, which I will talk about more in a little bit. But for now, so this is my setup. So pretty out. I've got my 
my water. The book I'm reading right now is The Universe Has Your Back. I've read this before and I really loved it. And I, like I've said, I've been feeling like I'm not in alignment right now. And so I've been reading this again. It helps me get back on track. And then I take, I do all my journaling through my iPad. So. You say you don't want to get in trouble. That you're doing fine because you got me. I don't want to break your little bubble. But you got to wake up to reality. Because I can see. because we have our family um, Thanksgiving dinner tonight. So Anthony's doing the cheesy potatoes and I'm doing the stuffing. And there's my daddy. Hi, daddy. It, <laughs> it's my vlog. Just, just say hi. I'm not here. <laughs> he said, who is it? <laughs> we did our family Thanksgiving and it was lovely. I always make stuffing. I do my grandmother's recipe of her stuffing and then usually I do the cheesy potatoes too, but this year um, Anthony did them. Jaden did the rolls and my dad did the turkey. My mom supervised. <laughs> so now I was like, I'm calling it a night because your girl, I like to get in bed early. I like to start my nighttime routine by 8.30. I do, I don't care if it's a holiday. I wanna stick to my schedule. I am here, obviously, doing my nighttime routine. Thought I would chit chat just a little bit. Can't believe that tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Ugh. It's so cliche, and I felt I like I sound old when I'm like, man, the year went by so fast. But man, <laughs> the, year, the year went by so freaking fast, dude. Like, oh my goodness. Everything is right on track for where we're supposed to be you know what i mean like i have to that remind myself that because you know i'm not gonna sugarcoat it or lie in any way like i've been really really going through it lately um uh, mentally and it's been really hard for me so hard to like the fact like to the point where i was even considering like do i want to check myself in somewhere and to get help um but realizing that i don't need to go to that extreme i just need to get a handle of it because i had been in a severe uh, depression again for six weeks and i couldn't i just could not wake up out of it it's the most frustrating thing it's like it's fucking groundhog's day you know it's like every day you wake up and every day you're like it's the same thing and the same sadness or anxiety and worry and all those lovely emotions that we don't like to feel that would flood me i will say i shared you know i've been sharing with people that i'm struggling right now because i need love that's the only way i can get through it is by letting people know that i'm not myself and i need a little love right now a little grace and compassion but i'll get through it because i will never stop fighting for myself i'll never stop trying you know but i had shared that with my friend sandy and she had sent me a really beautiful message just saying you know how she was rooting for me and that she thinks my purpose which is my purpose which I believe to be my purpose too but she was just confirming to me that my purpose is to help women my purpose is I help women grow you know and I help them live a better more fulfilled purposeful life you know the enemy will try to strip you when he knows you have a purpose and you're doing good in the world and it's like he wants to silence me or whatever so i just posted that from her on my instagram story just saying you need more friends like this not thinking anything of it honestly and when i tell you like almost all of my clients like my past clients, current clients, all reached out to me to tell me that they were rooting for me, they loved me, they heard me, that I made such a difference in their lives, that they wanna be there for me right now when I'm hurting the way I was there for them. It was so touching and such a confirming, it just affirmed to me what I had been feeling, which was that is my purpose, you know? And I know I make a difference in women's lives and that's what feeds me. That's what gives me joy. You know, I don't, 
do anything for men. <laughs> I don't give a shit about impressing a man in any capacity. Like, I could care less. It's, I do things because I want to help teach our and grow and inspire and just help other women reach their full potentials the best they can and know that we're all struggling we all have our shit and there's nothing wrong with you if you are going through it, it just means you're human and we're gonna have our days but learning tools on how we can get better and we're having those days that was really special to me because not only were like all my clients but a lot of women that I don't even know like that or do know but don't have close relationships with reached out to me just letting me know they're praying for me and I just felt so much love like so my ladies thank you because this is why I have a YouTube this is why I have a vlog it is for the connections with the women that I make and yeah guys you guys are always welcome too and I have made connections with some guys like my boy Nico you know he was my first male client but predominantly it's women that I speak to you know and I just feel very grateful very very grateful for the women in my life I feel grateful for them that I had been like a pillar of strength for them when they needed it and now that the tables have turned and I'm needing that strength back to, given to me that they're pouring it into me and they're not judging me and they're not being like no you're supposed to be my coach you know like they're like you're human and that just is that's everything so thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you so much hi so I just finished yoga I have not been to yoga in months I was telling myself like I needed to get back into it because not only good for like physical but for like my mental you know and so like I shared I've been struggling a lot with my mental and just not being in a good place it felt really good I'm really proud of myself because it was hard <laughs> it was hard but it feels so good you know and you just always feel so good once you go and you leave and you know you accomplish something and so I'm proud of myself for that I'm heading to the spa. I'm gonna get a facial because I haven't gotten one in a while. And you know, skincare is a must. I do the Hydra facials. I'm running a little behind. I was gonna vlog yesterday because yesterday was Thanksgiving and I don't even think I vlogged at all like I meant to, but it just, it's like I get so into vlogging and then when I stop, it's weird for me to pick up my camera again and to like do it again. seen it before good job baby daddy all right so now is friday night i am back home um showered and put on some makeup because i have a meeting with gianna my girl as as you guys know she is my my virtual assistant um now she is my online business manager so she's really helping me run life with gz so we have um uh, meetings three times a week because she does live in Canada so that's how we stay connected and make sure that we're on the same page when it comes to running life with Jeezy. I thought I was going to go to the movies tonight. Jaden had requested that, what is it called? It's Bones and All. It's called Bones and All. So look that up. A scary movie where they eat people. But Jaden requested that me, him, his brother Anthony and his dad all go together as a family and you know, we've been divorced since Jaden was 10. And so he doesn't ever hardly ask for us to all be together like, as a family. So when he does, I want to accommodate that. So we were going to go together as a family tonight. Frankie cannot make it. So we are going to postpone it because I don't want to go without Frankie. Because I want it to be the whole family as per Jaden's wishes, you know. So we're going to do that. But it's still Friday. So I got triangle with my boys after. But I meet with G now every Friday at 5 30 my time 3 30 her time and we go over the business so i'll like let y'all see a little bit of that love her i want to go to canada to visit her um next year so we've been planning that trip i'm looking forward to that and it would be my first solo vacay like i'm always with somebody so 
me well i'm gonna like be with her but i have to travel to get to her and be alone you know <laughs> i don't know it's like that's like that's a lot for me okay and i have anxiety you know i don't know i do not try to conceal that in any shape or form <laughs> Oh, so I got my facial today, as you guys know. And the facialist, she was like, your skin is a 10. Uh, and I, she's like, it's so obvious you take care of your skin. I said, girl, if you only knew, like all the stuff I do. <laughs> I said, thank you. Thank you. That's a huge compliment because it lets me know that all that money I invest and everything I do, it's working. And she's like, no, it's working. Like there was nothing that she could recommend that I'm doing more because everything I'm doing is working. So that was like really great. All right, so I'm having my meeting with G and basically like what we were doing right now is going over any sponsorship or collaboration opportunities any company has sent me in the past couple of months and making sure we respond to them and have it organized and I know what the product is, if I'm interested, if I want to respond to them. What else G, um, codes? Codes, yeah, like if there's any like info they need, the date we receive the product, they want on Instagram, or on YouTube yeah thing. all the things and so that's why I have G because she keeps me organized she's my my angel my angel baby <laughs> I shouldn't be standing okay. with a heart that's so heavy I shouldn't be up with all the weight that I carry don't know if it's right but I'm sticking with you you're my only vice I'm dependent on you Love's for the wicked It is Sunday. It's 10 o'clock. I just got out of hot yoga and when I tell you I tried to talk myself out of it out of it this morning and like rationalize like just stay in bed and watch YouTube video <laughs> and I was this close and I was like no Jen like you need it for your mind get up and go and I got out of bed and I went and I felt so good it is like I'm telling you it is so hard for me <laughs> it's so hard for me but it's like I burn so many calories and I'm just so present, you know, in those in that for that hour that I just feel so good. So I'm heading home. I'm gonna shower, get ready. It's Sunday, so I go see grandma. I gotta go bring grandma and Angie, my aunt, lunch. I like to bring them lunch on Sundays and visit with them. I think it's important to take time for people that matter to you and these past I would say five years like very important for me as an adult like to get to know and spend a lot of time with my grandma and I love listening to her stories and getting her advice and just telling her what's going on with me I share my week with her and I don't hold anything back I tell her everything <laughs> so um so that's what we're about to do and then when I get home I gotta show you guys I did Four new tattoos yesterday with Jay. Her and I went and had lunch, and then afterwards we went back to her studio and she did four new tattoos on me. So I'll show you guys when we get home. Hi guys, I'm back. I uh, it's Sunday night now. I went and saw Grandma and had a great lunch with her. Just watched a movie with Jaden. We were watching the movie Beast with oh, child fine ass Idris Elba so fine uh we're watching that but i'm about to coach a client i haven't coached in like two months now because i haven't felt like my cup was full enough to coach and so i've been feeling better and so i am gonna meet with a client right now so that'll be fun let me just show you guys i told you guys i would show you the tattoos i got yesterday so let me Okay, so she touched up my lines. Okay, so I'm waiting for Zoom. But anyway, so she touched up my lines and my heart. And then we added 444 because that's my angel number that I see all the time. We did Be Here Now. I am a huge Ram Das fan, as you can see. Let's see, being Ram Das. Oh, be there, be here now. So I love Ram Dass and I love what that means. And then we added like this cute little like rosary to my middle finger. And then on my wrist, inhale, exhale. That's because I struggle so much with like anxiety and I have to remind myself to breathe. Just breathe, Jen. Like 
like inhale exhale and like the be here now is for me it's like don't think about the past don't think about what used to be don't think about my future so much either and I'm like well what's gonna happen in my future just be here now just be focused on right now in the present moment what can i control and that's all i need to do that's the best i can do right now is just be here now okay so i am done with my coaching call it was awesome she's so great i uh, love coaching her we set up a new schedule to go forward and we're both committing to and so now i'm just gonna get ready for bed let me show y'all what i'm trying to mess with right now so you don't think i'm just too crazy most of like my nighttime skin routine i keep right here at the top and like skincare products and this is like some lotion i like to use the most but this is like my main bedtime products but i was like organizing it but that's what i was doing i'm gonna take a 6 a.m yoga class tomorrow morning because they make me feel good they're hard but i love them and when i'm telling you like whenever i'm doing them and i'm in my poses and you know i'm just like mm, you know doing my thing i'm built for this this is what i'm meant to be doing like i just like feel it like it's part of my dharma this is down here i like to use this one at night too i went through all of my books not all of my books because i still have a lot of books in my storage unit but all the books that i have with me right now which is a ton because i just love to read and learn so i just got all of them out dusted the shelf and reorganized them by subjects and only kept in my my office like slash beauty room books like I want to have try to read like for the new year and I'm really on a spiritual journey again of, like refining myself where I want to be um new practices I want to implement to just be the best version of myself where I'm always constantly you know growing it was just fun it's like I felt like I went to a bookstore today and I didn't I went to my closet and I had a lot that I didn't even realize I had bought so there was a lot that I found I can get up because I want to get up at 4 30. Class starts at 6 but I like to leave by 5 30 for class so I can get there early get my mat where I want it to be relax for a little bit before class starts and then I'm not the type that just wakes up and just keeps it moving like I'm a cat like I need to <sighs> <laughs> like I need to stretch I have to like you know figure out what it is I'm doing like I want to have my coffee, my water. I need to watch a YouTube video or something to wake up to. Like I can't just roll out of bed and then I'm hit hit the gym. Like not for me. I have been doing these makeup remover wipes. Have y'all watched any good shows lately? I just finished watching 1889 on Netflix. I thought it was good, but then the ending I thought was like kind of garbage. So I don't know how I would recommend that one. Um, we're watching The Watcher. So far so good, but we're not over and I don't know if they'll end good or not. Another one where it might just give me a crap ending. And I watched a movie last night with Julia Roberts and George Clooney and I thought it was so cute. I take my Foreo and I have my Chanel cleanser. I get it wet. So I was talking to my client and she was so sweet and she said that God has a purpose for me and there I have a tribe of women around me and I just was like so touched by that. The amount of love that I receive from my clients when I feel like I'm not being my best, they still show up for me. And that's just so beautiful. And I don't know what, <laughs> what I did to deserve it, but I am so, so grateful for it. Tomorrow is back on the grind. I've been off for the past five days and I've got to say it has been so nice. I haven't had five days off in a row in a long time. That was lovely. Time to get back on it. Finish the year strong. Come up with our new goals for the new year. It's always an exciting. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this. I gotta do a light mask after and then I do all my serums, but you guys have seen all that. So I'm gonna finish this here. 